everybody, Ben Bredigan with In-Depth Outdoors, and today we're up on the Door County Peninsula just north of Sturgeon Bay. If many of you don't know, this is one of the premier smallmouth bass fisheries in the entire nation right now. So today I got the scuba gear with, and we're looking to learn what these fish are relating to. Uh, the fish are in the pre-spawn, transitioning to the spawn stage, so I want to get down under the water and see what those fish are actually relating to and what they're doing. So hopefully we find some fish pre-spawn that are cruising and then also some that are on the beds we could have a little fun with. So let's get out there. Alright, so we're going to head down there. Uh, the first thing I noticed was when we headed underwater was the amount of current that was down there. I mean it took a lot of effort to simply stay stationary much less move forward you can kind of see all the particles floating past me here but um, it didn't take long for us to find our first smallie and the area we found it in was just kind of this rocky sandy area um, as you can see on the rocks there's all these zebra mussels the sand is covered in zebra mussel shells but uh, where this guy liked to hang out most often was a two foot drop from a really rocky area and it would drop down a little bit to this rock sand area. You can see right here he's kind of coming up it. Um, that's where the, I saw most of the fish traveling. It wasn't a very big drop, but uh, that's where I saw 90% of the fish here. Uh, then I saw something that was really interesting. I've never seen it in my life before, and initially I thought it was a, a smallie guarding a nest, which you know everyone's seen plenty of times. Uh, so I hung out, stayed back a little bit, but then I realized that he wasn't guarding it he was actually still making the nest. So what I see, what I saw here was uh, nothing I've ever seen before, and it was actually one of the coolest things I've seen since I've been underwater. But you can kind of see how this fish clears off its nest. So that right there is how Smalley clears off his bed, and something I've never seen before really interesting so I had to go to the surface tell James and Adam Rasmussen about it uh, and then I got an idea I said you know what this small isn't spawning yet so I said James you guys should toss a few tubes in there and see if you can get them to eat and I bobbed around on the surface for a little bit and uh, headed back down there and sure enough small was definitely interested in those tubes you can see right here that uh, that tube bouncing in the back and kind of turns and looks right down at it. And one observation I had was that a lot of the times James and Adam, they were moving their tube too quickly. Uh, they let it sit on the bottom too long. And a lot of the times the bass would lose it in the rocks. So something I was thinking I was telling them about is that they should let their tubes kind of hover more so than sink on the bottom. So that would mean uh, lighter to lead weights so that tube hovers more. You know, it's gonna be a slower presentation, but I feel like those bass are, are feeding more so up. So then I thought, hey, why should they have all the fun? So I grabbed the line with about a two foot section of line to the tube and just jiggled it in front of its face. And this was inches from my face and he just whacked it. So that was pretty cool. But that's all I've got here from Sturgeon Bay. Um, when I see you next, I'll be in Cass County up in northern Minnesota. Uh, very clear lake, and I found some cool stuff and saw a ton of bass. So I'll see you guys next time from Getting Deep. I'm Ben Bredigan.